Suri, a college graduate who majored in civil engineering, is propping up a mapping benchmark on site. The expressway wakes up in the cool breeze after a long winter. In two years, Azor, the capital of Ghana, will be incorporated into the National Expressway Network, extending in all directions. It's only 146 kilometers away from Lanzhou, 560 kilometers from Xi'an, 490 kilometers from Chengdu, 1,230 kilometers from Lhasa, and 1,300 kilometers from Beijing. located in the northern grasslands of Ghanan. The well-known Mila Ripa Tower is located in the heart of the city. Towering Taiza Mountains lie in the northeast, and the Dongzhou grasslands in the south. The meandering Tao River runs through the city. August 9, 1953, the Ghanaian Autonomous Region was formally established with authorization from the State Council. On October 1st that year, the local government and Congress were founded in La Brun Town, Chi'aha County. Gun Bao Shan, governor of Gansu Province at the time, led a delegation to the area to offer his congratulations. region was renamed the Ghanaian Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. In 1955, the Ghanaian Daily carried the statement. On May 25th, construction began on Hazor City, a future location of Ghanaian's local government. The report described the city's promising future, which would be home to various industries and cultural attractions. After only a year, the local government moved to the city. of Hazor, a group of cheerful volunteers have just finished picking up trash. Among them are teachers, students, government workers, and amateur photographers. The group's organizer is Young Kel Sang, a Tibetan born in 1947 and one of the oldest residents of the city. He has witnessed his hometown transform from a shabby little town to a well-developed city. Today, Young is still able to find some traces of the city's ancient past. After getting approval from the state council, the local government of Gansu province officially inaugurated Hazor on January 1st, 1998. As far as Young can remember, the earliest change came in the central square. The People 
People like to gather at the square in the evening to dance. Now that 60 years have passed, the city's founders have all grown old. Those who were children in the city's early days now play an active part in the city. The new generation looks to the future with a completely different vision. Hazor has changed, so has Ghanaian. As the capital, Hazor is leading the drive to modernize Ghanaian, bringing together many professionals and experts. In 2011, Ghanaian Tibetan Hospital received a research mission from the Ministry of Health. Its goal was to gather the medical achievements of the elderly Tibetan physician, Si Ju Mu Gyatso. Person in charge of the project is Gazang Jumei, Associate Chief Physician of this hospital and a former student of Si Ju Mu Gyatso himself. The people of Ghanan have faith in Tibetan medicine, which is regarded as one of the best types of treatments in the medical history of China's ethnic groups. It's renowned for its diversified treatments, complete system, and long history. Today, a patient with abdominal pains has come to the hospital. Gazung Jumei decides to use a specific Tibetan drug, but he's not sure how much to use. He remembers that his teacher, Si Ju Mu Gyatso, knew a lot about this drug. He decides to visit his former mentor, who now lives in Chabago. This young lady is listening to her classmates read a poem. She's a member of the Uyghur ethnic group. Her name is Jia Juan. She is majoring in Chinese at Gansu Normal University for Nationalities, located in the southwestern corner of the city. The university's buildings are silhouetted against the open plateau of Ganan. The Uyghur people have their own language. They use Chinese characters and practice Tibetan Buddhism. John will graduate this year and will become a language teacher. But before graduating, she has to pass a test which involves giving a trial lecture. During her lecture, Jia was too nervous. It didn't go well. The roommates give her some suggestions. Gazang Jumei and his two colleagues have come to Chabago to seek advice from his teacher, Si Jumei Gyatso. After listening to details about the patient's condition, Si Ju Mu Gyatso recommends using another Tibetan drug. He takes out a 1,000-year-old Tibetan medical document called the Four Medical Tantras and explains the principles behind the treatment he recommends. The trip to Chibago gives Gazung Jumei a more profound understanding of his mentor's medical skills. He's also realizing that completing the research mission given to him by the Ministry of Health is proving difficult.
Ghanaian used to be sparsely populated. The most difficult problems facing nomadic people are health care and education. But after years of efforts, health conditions have improved. The average lifespan in Ghana has increased from 35 years to 68 years. Jia Juan has passed her trial lecture just before graduation. She's now an intern at a local Tibetan middle school. In July, Jia and her classmates will begin their careers in primary and secondary schools around Ghanaian. There are 43 schools in Hazor, ranging from kindergartens to high schools. By 2005, the city's enrollment rate reached 99.1%. The government is boosting investment in education in remote areas throughout Ghana. Officials and ordinary people truly believe that education is the way to the future. どうしよう、そう。なんか <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gao is a chef specializing in Tibetan cuisine. He's working on lifting traditional nomadic dining to the level of gourmet cuisine. He's enrolled students from all over Ghana, especially those from poor families. So far, he has trained 130 cooks. Wang Hong Wei is the director of the Yellow River office in Ghanaian Prefecture. Looking at the magnificent scenery of the Yellow River's first bend, he feels a heavy responsibility on his shoulders. Numerous streams flow into the Yellow River across the Machev pasture, which acts as a water tower serving the river. To guarantee the safety of downstream areas, nothing can go wrong here. Wang's focus during this trip is to check on the grassland desertification measures. Uh, Wang's goal is to stop desertification. But the Yellow River's problems have never been simple. Leaving the test fields, he hurries to his next stop.
Sornan Wadan is guiding students during a dance rehearsal. It's a Tibetan dance, and he has to follow certain routines. His colleague Chen Yi is painting a tongue car called Eight Tibetan Treasures. He's keen on painting, but doesn't want to stick blindly to traditions. He combines hand and Tibetan techniques to create a unique lacquer tongue car work of art. Oh, I hope you put this feeling Sornan Hua Dan is a dance teacher and Chen Yi is an art teacher. Unlike the older generation of folk artists who inherited their skills by word of mouth, they use modern teaching methods and goals. They're also artists. Where does their inspiration come from for making artistic creations? Young Da Kung was Ghanan's first air traffic controller. He's responsible for scheduling the city's air traffic. Outside the tower, construction work has almost come to an end. The workers are still busy examining the 3,200 meter long runway. The road connecting Hazor and the airport is still under construction. There's only a month to go before the airport is officially open. Right here, at the gateway to the ancient Silk Road, Young is about to welcome the first group of aircraft. Having watched the folk drum dance performed by the Ju and I Tibetans in Jama Go village, So Nan Hwadan is very excited. The style of dance originated from sacrificial rituals practiced by the ancient Chiang people and the religious dances of Tibetans thousands of years ago. Although the song's meaning has been forgotten, maybe there's something Sornan Hua Dan can do to bring new life to this dance. Chen Yi is copying a mural in Chan Ding Temple. Although cameras have become quite popular in Ghanan, he believes the only way to truly understand and appreciate the subtleties of traditional art is through painting. <laughs> Uh, so you can change the uh, 
四组啊，就差不多了啊，差不多。你看，好多同学都给我私下打电话，就是要求跟我学习七一堂课。除了我们汉族同学，还有藏族的也多，还有回族的、萨拉族的，都对这个感兴趣。你看啊，上这色的时候啊，先要涂我们的亲戚，中间是它是白色。如果有渐变，那么撒的时候提高一些。New generation of artists in Gaonan are eager to make breakthroughs and innovate, yet the rich ethnic heritage here is the real source of their creativity. 这是卡布奇，当时重新考绘画的，当时把纸张全部清了。这是两，这是开泰的过来，这是够了，这是开泰是全部是石子，没办法，这是重新够，这是开泰。你先把把石子，石子挖的三层的石子，三米多。To solve the area's environmental problems, they must first solve problems facing people's lives. Wong Hong Wei has come to a nomadic settlement in the Yellow River wetlands. So today, this is what I'm going to do together. This is what I'm going to do with the people's thoughts. Nashinudu Today is a big day. Young Nakun has put on a formal suit for the occasion. July 18, 2013, one month before the 60th anniversary of the Ghanaian Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, the first aircraft lands at Shiaha Airport. Ghanaian has stepped into the modern age while still being in touch with its snow-covered plateau.